Do you still want to go back and live? אתה עדיין רוצה לחזור ולגור בישראל? הלוואי. I wish. לא, אני רוצה לבוא, אבל עכשיו אני, אם אני רוצה לבוא, רק טיול. Now if I want to come to Israel, it's only for a trip, for a vacation, for to see. טיול, בטיילת. This is his wish. Well, no, I'm just... Yeah, that, that's good to see that he's running Pacific here. <laughs> nice to see you, but uh, I mean, maybe, maybe as... <laughs> uh, I wanted to, to meet somebody from, like, from the government or just from the, uh, uh, you know, presenting the government as a diplomatic Israel, just to, to let him know about what happened to Palestine and the hiding in Tel Aviv. I mean, there's a lot of Palestinians are, are, are getting really arrested and beating up and seeing them in jail and having really troubles. And in Israel, they don't accept them because they're Palestinian. When they get them back, they don't accept them in Palestine because they're gays. So this issue is a really big issue. I mean, it's not easy for, 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 for those people. I have been there. I know how the people are uh, uh, behaving, how, how the life in Tel Aviv, security is forcing us to, to sometimes When they arrested me, they, they asked me to work with them as a spy or just report something is happening in West Bank. It, it, people get used there because they're weak. And they don't care about them because they're Palestinian. I mean, the Israelis don't care because they're Palestinian. And when, when the police arrested them, and they arrested me and they arrested him as well, they sent them back to East Bank without even care or seeing the risk that they're facing there. And when they move, they, they send them back there, they're facing a really big presence of risk in, in East Bank. I think, I think the Israeli government, at least, well, they're not going to make our life for all Palestinian five stars in West Bank, but at least those really gay Palestinians that are suffering a lot, and they have nowhere to run except Tel Aviv. So I wish you will send this message somewhere. I'm going to give you some small support. What do you think uh, when he's telling you this? Well, first of all, I believe that we all met uh, I had a privilege to meet two heroes, very brave. And, uh, here is, uh, I think uh, what you're doing is just uh, amazing because uh, I heard vaguely about, about this phenomena. Now this is something that I hope and I'm sure will make it to uh, the awareness of the Israeli public. I believe it will create a debate because this phenomena was, wasn't that much highlighted. I mean, there are many, many other issues. I'm not talking about the, you know, in the context of the conflict, I'm talking about, for example, uh, illegal uh, um, immigrants which are uh, uh, staying in many parts of, of Tel Aviv. So, so, so when you look at the, um, you know, the different aspects of Tel Aviv today, there, there, are, there are so many different issues and this one I think probably was, was, was lost uh, and, and therefore this is a, you know you couldn't, you couldn't put it in a better way so I, I believe first of all that two hero here two heroes which are you know your life story is so so moving so touching so strong and and, and I really uh, chapeau for, for, for doing such a, a great work and I'm so so pleased that also the Ministry of Foreign Affairs was uh, assisting you in, in, in such a production. I think this will show that for in our point of view culture uh, is, is, is beyond beyond the conflict and let's hope that the message that you uh, brought so eloquently will will uh, go further. Will you, will you take this film as a message to your government? Just to the government, to everyone, because this is uh, this is first of all the human the human aspect here. It touches all of us. It is not a political issue. It's a human issue, and we have to deal with it as such. Thank you very much. <laughs> so we're doing a good uh, business here. A good deal. <laughs> He saw the movie and probably thinks we'll get better now. I will, add, I will add something about the complexity of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Of course. Just to, to give, um, just to make things more complicated as they are. Nothing is really black or white. There are no, in my uh, opinion, um, bad people or good people. And I join what Abdu wants, but um, yes, it's hard for Israel because of 
security concerns to uh, deal with the problem. At the same time, yes, someone who is gay becomes very weak in terms of his own society, in terms of his own family, and becomes a security threat in, immediately in Israel. And this is why, and this is the, the part that I don't like, the Israeli security forces are trying to use and take advantage of those guys who become weak in their own society. So if you are, you don't want us to tell your family that you're gay, so go back home and bring us this and this and this. So this is, or at the same time, he could go back, be arrested by the Hamas or by the Fatah, and they will tell him, we know you're gay, you want us to tell your father, or etc., etc., go back and bring us something from Israel. So these guys are trapped in this um, situation, in this circle, vicious circle of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, which we are not part of, of but it's part of our region, and it's so complicated to understand, and there is no way to solve it immediately, you know, to say, okay, this guy is gay, this... And, and this film, I hope, will raise at yeah. least well, the... It shows, it shows a big part of the trap, yes. at least it does. 